Yes, once again, this is Higher Learning, episode three, and I am your host, Below Dirt, joined by my good friend, Dr. Chop. Say hello, Dr. Chop. Hello, Dr. Chop. Yes, yes. How you doing tonight, Below? I'm pretty good, man. I'm pretty good. Need to get my uh, head right, if you know what I'm saying. The doctor's got the medicine. Oh, medicinal. Medicinal. Yes, today we have a range of topics. A good range, I'd say. And I'm just gonna start with this this question, fuck it. Does Pluto deserve to be a planet? Huh? I mean, let's, let's just dive into that, because um, I think it does. I grew up in the fucking 90s, before all the, the real dumb kids came, you know what I mean? We were just kind of dumb. And like, Pluto was a planet. It was there, dog. It's, it didn't get degraded. Like, it, it literally got downgraded to a fucking moon or a satellite. I think that's what they call it. What, what's your opinion? You know what I mean? I want to know yours, because I think it deserves to be a motherfucking planet. Shit. I think it's kind of unfair. It's a little fucked up to me. All my life, somebody says it's a planet and then be like, nah, nah, bruh. <laughs> this ain't no motherfucking planet. It's a satellite. It's too small. You know they don't love Pluto. They never loved us. They never loved Pluto. <sighs> Fucking Pluto. Sounds some bullshit. I don't know. I just, you know, we got people out here we're more concerned with the Earth being flat. <laughs> Fucking flat Earthers. They are so cool. They are pretty cool. Hey, they're very creative, you know what I mean? And I definitely support creativity, but I don't think the Earth is flat. I think we are past that point. We shouldn't be thinking that anymore. That should not be a fucking concept in 2018. Just like, you know what else shouldn't be a concept? What? Pluto being a fucking satellite. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck shit. that. It's wrong. You can't just downgrade shit like that. Like, hey, you know everything you've been told about Pluto your whole life? Well, kind of. It doesn't really matter because it's not a planet. You know what I mean? When you name off the planets, don't name that one. Exiled. <laughs> Kids don't name that planet pretty fucked up got me all the way twisted and another concept that I have to dive in is pretty broad is robots and robotics on one hand I love that shit fucking robots opening doors and shit I robot the movie <laughs> all good stuff to me but good stuff did not happen at iRobot I mean Better than AI. You remember that movie? You ever watch that movie? No. Artificial intelligence? You never watched that? No. Oh my. So these people have a kid, then they have a fucking robot kid. And it's what trying do you to. have a robot kid. They like buy a robot kid because this is the future. I don't know exactly what, you know, date because I watched it when I was like fucking 10 or something. So, but. This, they have a kid, then they have this robot kid, and he's trying to, you know, act like a human, and he's eating shit, and it's fucking up his circuits, because, you know, robots don't eat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and then, like, basically, I guess he uh, isn't there, whether he gets thrown away or whatever, and then he finds other robots, and they're all fucked up, like, literally falling apart, and it's like a horror movie to him, and he's like, oh, and he's scared, and... I think at the end it was basically like, oh, you're basically human anyways, you know, because you got a heart. You know what I mean? Like, you got emotions even though you're a fucking robot. Programmed. But, I don't know. I, uh, I, this is something I did want to say. I just recently seen on Facebook, they're apparently having a fucking religion based off of robots. And a dude just filed for the, uh, IRS. Now he's not. It's a real religion. It's going down. They're allowed to do that. Apparently. Can I join the one that really? They said basically you can talk to God in real time, 
with their religion. Because <sighs> they're saying that technology is the evolution and is basically God. And they're making a, I don't know, basically a mother computer that you can talk to, which is their God. And it will talk back to you in real time. God Terminator? Uh, you know, Skynet here a little bit. <laughs> Have you ever seen The Crossing? No. Has nothing to do with robots. <laughs> Let me tell you, but The Crossing is a good show on ABC. Not sponsored by them by any means. Name drops. But good show, man. At the concept, it's these people from the future uh, are like in a genocide and all this shit. Spoiler alert. Hey, spoilers. <laughs> They're like in a like genocide and all this shit. And uh, they come back and they get time travel somehow to like our time. And then these fucking, uh, they come into the ocean. They're like at the bottom of the ocean. That's where they get teleported, basically. And then they have to swim, and a lot of them, like 400 of them died. <laughs> so, like, there's maybe like 20 something of these survivors. But it turns out they were running away from like an alien type deal. They don't really call them aliens, they call them like a minority. And uh, they have cognitive powers, like heightened fucking strength and speed and all that shit. And like, they're like, oh, okay, all right. Well, we can't let you guys just out. We're going to have to uh, put you in camps. And then, like, they don't believe them that they're from the future anyways, you know what I mean? Because they're just, they're looking for boats and shit. And, like, this one alien already came through, and it's like fucking shit up. And that's all I'm going to say. But it's amazing. You got to check it out. <laughs> time travel, bro. It's time travel, bro. Science-y, man. Time travel versus aliens. I don't, hey, they said that Stephen King said it was jaw-dropping. Ooh, Stephen King himself. The Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> what <did he> say? <laughs> Just saying. Like, I am not sponsored by them. Name drops. <laughs> On this show, I love name drop and everything. Google, big name drop. Love that shit. <sighs> if you ain't ever heard of it, just, oh wait, everyone's heard of it because it's fucking huge. But robots, man, what do you think about robots? I want your honest feedback, like for the better or for the worse. Are they gonna fucking help us or are they gonna make us that much worse? They're gonna do both. Just yeah, like James like, Cameron said they would. James Cameron. Elaborate. <laughs> I want to know more. Dig deep, Doctor Chop. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta drop the deets. Here's the prescription. Oh shit. Google Skynet. Okay. No, no, they're not Skynet until they eat apple. Once they eat the apple, they're gonna know everything. Damn. That's pretty deep. Okay. Well, that sounds like for the worst to me, man. I mean, when it comes down to it. We're already at that day and age. There's just not fucking walking robots that are killing people. They never tell you about what happens before Skynet, do they? I'm sure they're living it up. You think? Just like us. You think right so? Now. Being able to just like record at anywhere at any point in time and then being able to broadcast it over the entire world, like say a podcast in the shack in the woods. Wouldn't that be crazy? I'd say that's I'd say that's freedom, America. I'd say we have a lot of liberties here, man. <laughs> it sounds like what it is. You got them if you take them. Mm. I'm just saying, like the fact that we can do this right now and broadcast it via the internet and that reaches every country that will allow it to, right? Isn't it? Basically, the, it will go worldwide, but. Some countries is like, nah, you don't get the internet. Everybody's warming up to it, though. Yeah. Because it's good. It's that good stuff. Yeah, well, I mean, you get the fucking... <sighs> man, I don't know, man. To me, I think it's for the worse. I know you think it's... You say better and worse, but, man, it's like... You can't have the ability to... And the option to not do and or do everything that we 
have the option to do and or not do. <laughs> Seriously, like, oh, you can drive your car, or you could get a car that drives it for you. Cadillac just came out with one. Tesla's dent done had it, but Cadillac just came out with one. It drives for you. And Cadillac's been around a while, you know what I mean? So theirs is probably pretty fucking good. So do you want to drive or do you want to take that call and chill out and fucking beat off or whatever the fuck these people do who buy Cadillacs that drive themselves, you know? Do whatever the fuck they want. I'd say that's power, man. That's power and liberty. America. <laughs> <laughs> hey. The Euros got cars that drive themselves. I mean, I'm just saying. But they probably import them from America. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. No, but that's just... I, it just sounds bad. It just sounds bad to me. It's, I mean, I can't afford one either. Let me put that out there. So I, may, I might be biased, but come on, dude. Do you want to drive or do you want to do anything else that you can while sitting down? Shit, they're going to have ones that are vans, I'm sure, if they don't already. And you can take out the seats in the van and then literally <laughs> put it on its self-drive mode and get in the back and have a dance boogie fucking marathon you know what I mean anything you want <coughs> because that's 2018 man we're in like I feel like we're in a really good time period I mean a lot of shit sucks for a lot of people but a it's been a lot worse in a lot of different time periods too I feel like we have fun we do we can have fun and not be like completely thrown away for the rest of our lives for having fun and making dumbass mistakes until you get to a certain age. We're getting smarter. Smarter. All right, here's another one. Is there an island, if there was an island that had real life dinosaurs talking on some Jurassic Park shit, for <laughs> real, yeah, that's right. We went there. <laughs> Would you go to it? And I'm talking, of course, you have to pay. Is Chris Pratt there? I'm sure he'd make an appearance or two, but I'm talking more so. Are people riding dinosaurs? Hmm. Perhaps dress as cavemen. I don't think that would work. I don't think that one would be a good one. Have uh, people riding dinosaurs? Like everything they do in Jurassic Park, do they ride dinosaurs in that? There's a fucking idea. They should just make Jurassic Park, except it's all animatronics. I think they have done that. They did that at Kings Island. Except it, it's a whole fucking island. Oh, okay. And then <clears throat> the dinosaurs go buck wild because Ape of shit. Skynet and go kill everything just like the original movie. Oh, why did we make their teeth actually sharp and everything? Oh. <laughs> the same as a real dinosaur. Fuck realism. Ah, oh, my guts. Hopefully my blood will make all the circuits. Oh, wait, I forgot we put the wire, the waterproof wiring on there. So they're completely immortal. <laughs> that would be dope. I like that. See, that's something I could work off of. I'd be like, look, I know that accident happened where that dude got eight who created the dinosaur robots. But I think they're remodeling and it's about to be open in spring. <laughs> right. And I would still go. I'd be like, hey, $50 a ticket's kind of pricey, but it's robot dinosaurs, bro. Don't they have dinosaurs at the Monster Truck Rally? I've never been to one of them, man. As much as I want to, because Sunday, 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 you can see a monster truck fuck up a bunch of other little cars and then do a fucking willy. Woo, kids getting free. It's either a dinosaur or a dragon. I have seen that, actually. I've seen a commercial of oh, that. Yeah. That's pretty lit. <laughs> it was completely lit on fire. Like, it was pretty dope. I can't be mad at that. I would, I, you know what? We should really go into looking into doing that, man. We need to go and fucking check that shit out. Open a park. Well, that takes money. Anatomy park. Anatomy park. Ooh. No, we can't do that. That takes future. <laughs> we don't have future tech like Rick. We're not that far along. I got like 300 bucks. I'm just. just... This VR. Brain control VR. Hey, you don't even have to hey, use your hands. 
And you're moving around. <laughs> I like that Inside idea, that actually. World. That actually kind of, man. Let me tell you something. Here at Higher Learning, it's hard to keep up sometimes. And that's why you gotta grab you a aqua, a nice kind of room temperature water that was here from the last podcast. Oh, where's yours at? I try to make it as comfortable as I can for my guests. <laughs> Dr. Chop's got a damn couch built up in here. This is a shack in the woods, and he's got a fucking couch he brought along with him. And I can't even be mad at him. But I didn't provide the water, and that's a dick move on my part, on my end. I'm fucking high, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, smoking the eye. Not cool. All right. Let's just move it on along here, man. I'm fucking trying to read this shit. I'm about to say, fuck it. What do you, who do you think would win in a fucking fight? Okay. A fucking grizzly bear, full grown, like a thousand pounds, like fucking eight feet tall. Or a full-grown silverback gorilla. All the same shit I said, except for the silverback is probably going to have like speed and thumbs. Ooh, them dudes got thumbs, right? Yeah, man. Yeah. Gorilla hands down. Yeah, every day, all the time. I don't know. It depends on how much the gorilla been drinking. I mean, I'm saying I think the gorilla has an advantage, regardless, because of speed. You know what I mean? Because I think a bear, yeah. I think pound for pound, I think a bear could kick a fucking gorilla's ass, but it's more like a fucking dog. It doesn't really, you know what I mean? It can stand up. It can, but I feel like it's more weight, more fat compared to muscle that's actually being used with the smaller gorilla. You know what I mean? I think you could fucking, a gorilla would mark it. Gorilla's got them Hulk arms. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. I would just like to say, like, if a bear was able to, like, somehow wrestle the fucking thing, the uh, gorilla, yeah, I think it would win. If it somehow had the fucking, the conscious decisions of, I need to get on top of this slam, and then, uh, I'm good on that, and then slam the fucking... <laughs> The gorilla on the ground, I think he would win. And then because he'd bite his fucking face off. Are all gorillas from neck. Africa? I don't think so. What, really? There's yeah, let's look around. it up. Good old Google again. I love Google. Well, I was just thinking, if gorillas are from Africa, which I think they are, do they fight lions? Tigers and bears? There's no tiger. Are there tigers in Africa? I think so. Do they fight other big animals wherever the fuck they're from? Do gorillas come from Africa? Are they all from India? It looks like... On the Jungle Book? Where there's our, everybody? Uh, did, everybody was on the Jungle Book. Yeah, Central Sub-Sahara Africa. Yeah. That's the only place gorillas are from? It looks like it. So, oh, shit. there's no gorillas on the Jungle Book? Let me see here. Where there was? Where are all the gorillas from? Boom. Oh, shit. Yeah. It looks like just Africa. Boom. Wait. Wait. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I mean, as far as not looking super deep into it, yeah, looks like it. And what was your other question? Do gorillas fight bears? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, here's the first thing. It says, um, if a silverback gorilla and a grizzly bear were to fight, dot, dot, dot. Google, yeah. Google knows. Oh, here's a here's a fight right here. 
brought to you by YouTube. Oh, wait. Dun, dun, dun. Brought to you by YouTube. Today, we will be comparing okay, to we're not going <laughs> to. No, you know what? Let's, yeah, let's keep that out there. Let's yeah. start by taking a look at the North American grizzly bear. Take a look at him. Although grizzly bears are mostly solitary creatures, with the exceptions of mothers to their cubs, they do tend to conquer, <laughs> especially during the last. Ah, uh, let's uh, let's just speed this along. Here. Think it's caught. We're trying to find a damn fight here. Okay, okay. So, I don't think there's been recorded any recorded fight because uh, that probably would have been it, and that was an ex explanation video. <laughs> so. Back to it. You think a gorilla, hands down. With those thumbs. But okay. I think thumbs are... I think you're right. If they were like pound for pound the same weight, yes, gorilla all day. Oh yeah. I think you're right. But what if the grizzly they were both grown was really hungry. But was like yeah, more desperate. Or I don't want to do a handicap like that. But I'm already doing one. So the I was covered in honey. <laughs> the gorilla has two fucking salmon. It's like, yo, bro, back the fuck up. These my salmons. I don't know who the fuck what the fuck a grizzly bear is, but it can suck my dick after I eat these salmons. Ooh. Donkey Kong. <laughs> yeah, big oh uh, big Donkey Kong. I don't give no fucks about a bear. I ain't never seen no bear in my jungle, motherfucker. You know what I mean? I think uh, maybe the bear would be like, get it. Look, this ain't no motherfucking Winnie the Pooh, bitch. You better run that shit. Run them salmons. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Like, I'd like to see that handicap. I want to see a big ass bear and a gorilla and then vice versa. Can't find it. But someone needs to make it happen. I don't. I mean, I know that's fucked up, but all the way legal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, all the way legal. You feel me? Like, there's a place. There's always a place. Yeah, I'm sure. But I don't want to dig deep into it to where there's like FBI type. Uh, I don't know. Emails coming and those uh, screens just popping up on my shit like in the movies. You know, I don't need that. Oh man, is magic real? Magic? Dr. Chop, is magic real? If you believe. If I believe. I don't know. I think magic is um, kind of touchy. I think it's like you don't even want to try it from all the shit you see in here. It's like I don't know about all the different uh, aspects to it, but I heard one, I think Wicca, Wiccans, whatever, is um, you do something and it comes back to you threefold. You know, and I mean, just hearing that alone, it's like, mm, I don't know. That's not a really cool trade off. What I get a lot of money, but then I'm like, I lose all my teeth, and then like, I don't know. I I become broke after that, and then I gotta donate a kidney to science real quick because I signed the wrong paper saying <laughs> an organ donor, and then I took a coma nap real quick or something. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It could get hairy. <laughs> Things could get a little wild, if you know what I mean. Could get real freaking twisted up. But yeah, this is Higher Learning, episode three. <laughs> just, just, just to re-clarify, and we're just running down all kinds of different topics, man. And Dr. Chop, this is the first time he's here, but he's my, uh, he's my right-hand man, you know what I'm saying? He's here to just do the yes and the responses that I need, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the right ones, you know what I mean? People come on and you gotta know what it is and he's like, I'm here to do my job. To do it, Psst. you know what I'm saying? Right there with him. But yeah. What would this world be like and your life be like, Dr. Chop, with no time? If time was not what it is today. We don't have watches and it's not on our cell phones and it's not so readily available. Sun still come up, sun still go down. Mm-hmm. And then the moon. I like. The moon does this dance. 
Yeah, that's what would happen. That's what did happen, huh? Keeps on happening. Yeah, I think you're right. It's inevitable. Like, they're going to, whoever, whenever, they're going to figure out a way to make a clock. That's a real a real type of answer. You know what I mean? It's like, nah. oh, yeah. No, it, it is, though, to be honest with you. Like, it's fucked up a little bit, but it's it's honest. Like, because there's always going to be a way. Whether it's a fucking sundial or it's a watch or it's just looking at the sun and the fucking moon. There's always a fucking way. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, man. I don't even know. I'm fucking all the way twisted down right now. And I have one more thing here. Wait. What? Dr. Chop, you look like you need to say something. Oh, here it is. I forget when we started this. Hey. Totally forgot. I don't know either. You just gotta go with the flow. This is, you know how I was just talking about time? This is void of time. We are in a fucking shack in the woods. <laughs> shack in the woods. <laughs> this is void of all time, reality. No one else, nothing else. This is just there. You're just existent right now. You're a ball of energy. You have no face right now. This is just smoke and two energies and just vibe. <laughs> I heard Jim Carrey talking about that. Oh, really? He's all about that. That's pretty ball dope. Ball of energy vibes. Yeah. Yeah, he went uh, real different. Not in a bad way. Not hating on that. He's very woke, as the kids say. He's very woke with it. He did it. crazy things. He uh, he gets more and more uh, fucking slots on TV. Well, I should say Netflix. He got a whole se- uh, he was on a series and then he was fucking on a whole documentary by himself. Talking about another movie he did. Now that's gangster. That's hey, if I can be in a movie talking about another movie about the one that I did. <laughs> Playing a different dude, and people were the whole time were like, "He's so good." That's when you make a big man. That's when you do big a movie time. about yourself, do a movie. That's fucking big time shit right there, dude. Straight up, you can't fucking you can't hate on that the concept of that. If I could get paid for making a CD about another CD I did, I'd say I'm fucking winning. But if I did it right now, it sounds pretty fucking stupid. <laughs> You're like, stop patting yourself on the back, dude. Yeah. Chill the fuck out. But if I did that and I had, I don't know, a big ass chain around my neck or a big ass rocks, rocks all over my wrist, then it'd be, you know what I mean? Everybody would want to fucking hear and see that. <laughs> oh, man. Dr. Chop. Right back at it. I need another one, man. I got one for you. What is your favorite sci-fi movie, motherfucker? Sci-fi movie? Yeah. Fuck. I know, that one's kind of narrow. Fuck. But not really. It's really hard. It could be a um, series. That, right. is a, Including, that makes it even harder. No, prequels and sequels. Shit. It might have to be. Shit. Yeah. On the spot. I can give you not five. Not I can okay, give you five. Ten. Oh, no, I'm five. taking five. Five? I'm, t- I'm taking only five. We're taking five. All right, Empire. Okay. New Hope. Okay. Force Awakens. Oh, man. All Star Wars. No, of course not. I need, I need to give you ten. Those are just off the top of my mind because they're powerful. Yeah. They're Disney. They're Disney good. They got money behind them. They got a lot more going for them now. That's one thing I'll, I'll definitely admit. What's not Disney good? That's still so good. You got two more, man. You got two more out of everything. You chose you three. Starship Troopers. You talking from like eighties? No. Oh, well, it's like no. from nineties. Well, oh, early ass nineties. No. Hell yeah. I don't know. 
They have to be, man. It's got MPH in it. And he's older than Doogie Howser. Does it have the guy from Breaking Bad, the cop in it? I don't know. Oh, man. Well, I I think I know what you're talking about, man. Are they, like, fighting against alien, uh, insect-type yeah. aliens? Yeah, bugs. Yeah, they're the shit. That's the shit. That movie's dope. Is that number four? Yeah. Number four. I mean, what is number five? I don't know. Man, you have to choose, man. It was either one or five, no ten. You chose three on Star Wars. I'm not going to say wasted, because that's just fucked up. I guess Terminator 2? Damn, okay. No, and that's, you know what? I can't hate on that. I can't even hate on that. All right. You know what I can't hate on? What? Remakes. Remakes. Like remakes. Yeah, I mean, but they're so. They're novel. But so, like, so few to me. To me, so few. Like, I don't know what it is. They have, like, this shit just ready. Like, okay, if you if it's past 2008, here's what you have to have in it. Just make everything dark, mainly. Mainly make a lot of scenes dark, and then people will buy it. I mean, people are going to go regardless because of the name, but they're not going to bitch as much. <laughs> because, like, what? Okay. I'm talking horror. I'm, like, a real big fan of, like, that type of shit. So, like, when they remade Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you seen that? Yeah. Dope. That was that was pretty good because it was, like, gory and it was, like, grungy looking. You know what I mean? It kind of fit. They're, like, country. It's, like, I don't fucking eat you. And it's, like, okay, that's fucking dirty looking. That's crazy. And then, like, but I, didn't, I wasn't a fan of, like, Friday the 13th, the new one. I wasn't a fucking fan. They made this dude, like, super skinny, and they... I don't know. I guess it's just because I grew up with the old school shit, but some things you just can't remake, and I can't... I just can't stand it when they don't get it right, you know? That's not my Jason? Like, that's, that's not mine. That's not my Freddy. I hated Freddy it. Freddy Krueger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Nightmare on Elm Street. My bad. I'm fucking... Yeah. Love no, Freddy Krueger. It was... No, the new one, though. He that was my fuck party. up. I'm lit. He knows how to party. He'll cut ya. Yeah, but you like the, the new one compared to the old ones? I think each of them have their own charm. Well, it's like hard, hard to... hard for me to sleep. Yeah, okay. Man. Well, is he always trying to dance with me? Well, you know what? I didn't like the. Uh, no, no, let me just retract that because I was talking about uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, but I also didn't like the Jason ones either. The Friday the Thirteenth. That one, I don't know. They were just like I don't know. Just it, it seemed like a, a super big fan of it didn't really write that. You know what I mean? I don't know. But yeah, fuck that. And fuck the <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street remake. Fuck that shit. I like that, but I'm weird. I like that one uh, Superman where uh, Kevin Spacey was Lex Luthor. <laughs> and Superman got demoted to the Atom. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. There is no smoking cigarettes in the shack in the woods. The shack in the woods. We just talk about science, get high, undisclosed locations. Science you know I mean? fiction. Well, I mean, this episode's just kind of wild and loose. We're making a new wild and loose. This is going to be released on a Wednesday. I just, I just now decided that. Wild and loose Wednesday, episode three. With Dr. Chop. Dr. Chop. You see that? Like, and this is not like pre recorded. I'm like, Dr. Chop. That's a chop, my friend. Give him the chop. That's what it is. Yeah, and that's the new shit. We just made that right now. That's creativity at its finest. And I mean, this ain't scripted. <laughs> it's wild and loose, anyways. Might as well call it that. Fuck. I'm about to start talking about some crazy shit. <laughs> Let's get wild and loose. Wild and loose. Be with B-Low.
Wild and Loose with Bilo, a new segment. All right, fucking switch it up. I'm about to end this. You know what? I just put up a new, as this is going, I just put up a new fucking picture. It's just Wild and Loose. I'm about to call, just, just call on some new shit. Do some new shit. Dr. Chop, what is your motherfucking opinion on... I can't say that one. I'm not going to say that. That's a little too wild. Okay, now we restart. Because <laughs> I was going to say, like, okay, like, without being, I don't know, too much of a dick, what is your opinion on uh, women who wear very revealing clothes? And I'm saying if they are yours compared to if you see a woman out there, I guess... That's what I'm saying. If you have a woman, what would you consider to be like, whoa, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, straight up. Well, <laughs> a lady should be able to dress however she wants. Oh, man. Coming with that real shit. And, and if her daddy made her feel... Like she needs oh shit to feel the way she feels so be it dress however you don't want <laughs> I don't know I just feel like okay you got a real good point cuz you got me cornered there like oh uh, yeah say something besides what I said and then uh you look like a real asshole <laughs> hey but I mean you got a point there but on some real shit no nah, man I, hashtag I, feminism oh damn Oh, fuck. Shut down. <laughs> what am I supposed to say after that? Like, no, I think you should have to wear this much and you can't show off your ankles in public. You know what I mean? Fuck. Now back to higher learning. All right, so... <laughs> I'm here. And I'm gone. And Dr. Chop's here. And we're surrounded by smoke. In the cabin in the woods on a wild Wednesday, wild and loose, because there ain't nothing else to do but talk that good shit about science fiction. My favorite motherfucking movie and franchise is Alien. And I know this fucked up because there's so many, but I don't know, I think that's pretty good because you can't go wrong with things straight up going inside your body, no homo, and then exploding out of your chest, aliens, come on. Come on, dude. And then big ass fucking versions that can camouflage, even though they're like eight feet tall. And then they can just straight up have their miniature mouth pop out their regular mouth and blow your fucking brains out, basically. Mini quick. mouth. <laughs> Minimouth.com. <laughs> don't type that in. I don't know what will pop up. <laughs> Maybe something real bad. <laughs> and then, uh, we got, what's her name? Sigourney. Sigourney? Is that how you say it? Sigourney Weaving. S Wiener? Weaver? <laughs> Weaver. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, then she's shit, but they replaced her ass in the new ones. They're like, nah, we don't need to bring you back. No Alien 5 for you, bitch. We don't do that shit. We're gonna Prometheus this. Boom. Oh, maybe we should bring her back for the... Uh, no, fuck that. We ain't gonna bring her back for that either. We got Magneto. And then who? Magneto again. Two, Mag <laughs> Two Magnetos. Trump's a fucking Ripley anytime. <laughs> Those are fighting words. I know. I'm starting some real controversy, but that's fine. Because this is my show. I say whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> they can come at me, bro. I love y'all's movies. <laughs> come at me with that hate, bro. I love y'all. If you come at me with that hate, I'm going a, I'm to a, like, be like, yeah, hell yeah. Hate on me in the Higher Learning Podcast. Please, because even that, to me, is an honor that you'd be hating on me because you said my name to hate on out of all the other people who are like, fuck that stupid bitch, she can't act anyways. You know what I mean? I like the new ones anyway. Two Magnetos, all that shit. Uh, I also like John Connor, what is it, John Carter of Mars? John Carter of Mars. I think that's pretty dope. And you know, that's, you know Superman's based off of him, man. So people want to hate on me. Let me, uh, let me. Okay, you see what that was? That right there is a uh, audio cue. Just so you know. 
<laughs> we gotta wrap it up. But John Carter of Mars, all right. Ending on a high note. That shit John right Carter there. <laughs> There's a fucking running joke, and everybody roasts me. And below loves red women. <laughs> Look, I love all things about that movie: cowboys, space fucking frog dog that runs way faster than it should this motherfucker uh, is fighting against these green four armed uh, aliens it's all dope and then there's like random fucking human like people on a on the planet with flying ships that like fly but they have wings but they're not really flying with the wings you know what I mean and it's magic you know you can't fucking you can't hate on that but everybody does, and everybody roasts my fucking ass for it. But Alien, John Carter of Mars, anything that has to do with space, like Interstellar, shit that doesn't really make sense, or shit that I can't understand if it does make sense. All right, all right, all right. All right, time travel, fucking clones, you got my attention. And that's Higher Learning, episode three. Yeah. All right, this is Belo Dirt. Thank you for joining me, Dr. Chop. Yeah, that's Dr. Chop. <laughs>